Morning, Arthur. My lady. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You want to talk? I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well, also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. Already feels like Sean's been back forever. Well, he makes his presence known. Read for me, little. He does that. I'm hungry, Mama. We're all hungry, son. Just try reading. Later. Okay. Go have a rest now. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. Morning. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools. I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, All right, I'll see what I can do. Later, okay? Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Thank you, Arthur.
Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Hey, what's with you? That's it, boy. <laughs> Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? 
Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. Hey, what can I do for you? Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. The one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now. and rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Shell of the boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. 
The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase! Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy! I'm starting to lose my patience with you. Goddamn lunatic! That's enough, Arthur! A kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. Not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know... There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. 
I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. What's your problem? Make it quick, or I might run off again. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... 
Somehow I imagine I shall. <laughs>